everywhere they go, they're being sissified. They're being sissified in school. They're being sissified of, at, uh, in church. They're being sissified on the job. They're being sissified in the home. The daddies have become sissies. The daddies won't speak back to their, to their bossy wives because they want to get laid. And so mom runs the house. Mom runs everything. Dad goes out and earns all the money. The kids never see dad take a stand for anything except maybe the Buckeyes or the Bengals or the Browns. But they never see their dad ever take a stand for anything. And so the kids, the parents, if they do take the kids to church, which doesn't happen very much, they take their kids to church and the kids walk in there and they, they, they watch what goes on in church and they see the sissy man standing up in front and they parents go home and they never talk about religion in their life. They never have family prayer in their life. They never have family devotionals in their life. They never have anything. And when the kids get 18 and they run off to college and they get introduced to Mr. Budweiser and Mr. Vagina, it's over. Religion out the door. And we've never, we don't teach our kids virtue. We don't teach our young men to honor a woman. We don't teach a young man that a real man of God does not take advantage sexually of a woman, that a real man of God is virtuous and stands up and defends, protects women, that a real man of God has a moral center and a moral compass that will not be changing with the whims of the day. We don't teach that. Why? Because there isn't any right or wrong. You can be a man and sleep with another man. You can be a woman and sleep with another woman. You can be a man who kills your baby. You can be a man that impregnates a lady and lets her kill her baby. But you're not allowed to have any opinion on it. You just got to sit there in the corner, shut up, and let the women do whatever they want to do. That, in a nutshell, is what's going on in American society. So I throw that one on the table. Somebody climb on in. Well, Coach, should so let me ask you, how should a man treat those te- – a teenage man – treat those teenage women should he treat them like ladies do they act like ladies <clears throat> we got a problem don't we jared no they don't act like ladies they don't act like ladies and why don't they act like ladies can i tell you why can you i tell you why because they're fighting to get on top the wives are fighting to get on top the girlfriends are fighting to get on top the girls are competing and for college scholarships the girls are competing for jobs not that girls shouldn't but that's what has thrown our culture and society out of whack. Now, here's one I never. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Lord, I got you. Women hey. pastors. Hang on a minute. Women pastors. Somebody just help me with this one, okay? You never hear me talk much about it. Women pastors, okay? Pastor, a woman who pastors a church, a married woman who pastors a church. I ask myself one simple question. Is she also, if she's the pastor and the head of the church, is she also the head of the home? And if she's not the head of the home, what is she doing being the head of the church? And if she is the head of the home, what's wrong with her husband? 